and 30 minutes, as you guys might have known, which is why the last puzzle was, was rather short. Yes. Yeah. It was rather short. Yeah. So, <laughs> hey, guys, if you remember, we're doing two podcasts a week. No, no, no. <laughs> How does it work again? We're doing, we're doing, we're doing two, we're recording two podcasts in one session, and we're doing a session every fortnight. Yes. Well done, Sophie. Well done. Well done. Oh, God. <laughs> we talked about our week last week, so let's talk, let's get right into it. So, what is this, Mike? This is the As Yet Undecided podcast with your semi conflicted hosts. Semi comatose hosts now. Yes, yeah, semi comatose ho- uh, hosts, Mike and Sophie. Um, <laughs> I think I might need to drink some of that protein drink of yours. That's yeah, okay, it's fine. It's nice. fine. I'm surprised you don't have your water bottle to that. I do have my water bottle. I can't be bothered getting to it. And besides, water has no calories, and I need calories right at this moment. Yeah, you need calories right at this moment. Sorry, Mike. I'm, I'm... And, and, and it's funny, I, I actually also have chicken thighs in the fridge. I noticed that. I was wondering why there was a plate of food in the fridge. Yeah. Ah, everything smells like chocolate. Every, everything smells like chocolate. What's your favourite protein, protein shake flavour? Carell, wasn't it? <laughs> Well, this is another conversation that we have. Yeah. Um, we're, we're, like, we're talking about which sort of dairy flavour do you like the most. And mine is caramel. Yeah. So or, or caramel, for whichever you want to pronounce it. Caramel College. <laughs> caramel College? I think caramel is a college somewhere in Auckland. Oh, yeah, it is too. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious, yeah. Um, hey, wasn't that... Oh, soylent, you can change the flavours, isn't it? So you can actually, like, basically have a different flavour every day so it doesn't get boring. Yeah, but do, do you really want to be eating the same food every day, essentially? No. Which is why, um, oh, but still, that reminds me, what is clean eating like? We can, we can go talking about clean eating and action style for ages and ages in the previous podcast last week, or as I say, 30 minutes ago. Yes. What exactly is clean eating? Um, essentially, clean eating is essentially no junk. No junk, including no sweets. Yeah, no sweets. Everything has its purpose. Right. That you're not eating it just for eating it. It, Because you have to think that all food is essentially fuel. Right, and you don't want to put in crap fuel. Yes. How many calories in half a glass of your protein shake? Well, I did put. Okay. Well, I do. Well, if you if you had half a bottle. Mhm. Okay. Half a glass, which is about a quarter of a bottle. Okay, quarter of a bottle. It's about twenty-seven grams of protein. Yeah. Um, uh, two grams of carbs, two grams of fat. So it's about. A hundred and fifty odd calories. Right. Which is the same as one and a half apples. That's why I'm waking up. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if I go a bit crazy like that coffee. That's how you, you, I tested some coffee. Oh, that was hilarious. No, oh, no. But that was the most hilarious thing ever. So, like, because I know yeah. that no matter what, don't mess with Sophie and coffee. Yeah. Or don't mess with. Sophie and anything sugar. Or caffeine, as it turns out now. Yeah, yeah, caffeine. So, what happens if I ever have that hint of drug? You know, technically caffeine and sugars are drugs. So what happens? Can the word hyper be used, or do we have to use another term for it? A hyper can be used. Yeah, hi- hyper can be used. So she she turned herself into a hypersonic. Yeah. <laughs> it went through everything relatively well placed or as some friends of ours have called it a neurotic squirrel <laughs> <laughs> like that squirrel from um uh hood hoodwinks hoodwinked yes. yeah like that squirrel from hoodwinks yeah and that was like what from what one sip of caffeine one yes. sip of coffee yes i couldn't real. i couldn't believe i was so sensitive just no uh, well, I can I can kind of understand because you've never had that sort of intravenous caffeine before. 
First, I had dark chocolate though. Yeah, yeah, but but like you haven't had it in a liquid form. Oh yeah. Because it'll go straight into the intestines. Oh, so liquid coffee is much stronger than chocolate. No, you, but well, you're going you're going to have that instant hit straight away. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's for one sip, guys. Don't make me touch it. Just as sports people shouldn't touch drugs in general, right? Yeah, but, Except. Yeah. Well, yeah, but I, I I always say that if you're having some sort of foreign drug into your system, yeah, you always need to have it in a controlled way. Like you. Yeah. Yeah. So like I I, I knew that you were going to react, mm-hmm. but also I was there f- to support. Did you Did you realize you I would react so badly? Um. Yeah. To some extent. Yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I should have told you to calm down a little bit more. Yeah. But like I needed to see the initial the initial reaction. Which was was this was the experiment successful? No matter what, anything anything that I do with you that is new to you is always a success. Yes. <laughs> so, so so like take for instance the time, like I deliberately brought you alcohol. Yeah. That was very minor. Yeah. Because I wanted to see what you were going to do with it. What did I do with it? You asked Dad for permission. <laughs> for something that was probably half the alcohol of a beer. Yeah. Um. Now that I think about it, I realised I was more likely to die from diabetes from that drink than from than get drunk. Yes. I mean, let me tell you, it was like 10% Bailey's coffee and coffee malt thingy. Yes. And 90% cho- Lewis Road creamy chocolate milk. Yes. So I was more likely going to die from diabetes than get drunk. No, it's because, it's, yeah. it's because of those reactions that I know that I've learned from this. Yeah. And you're starting to learn about it now. Yeah. That, like, you know, you think about your past thought processes yeah and then you think about it now and then you realize that what was i worried about yeah exactly because like when you're when you're young you give a large importance to every event yeah and the more older you get the lesser it is yeah you get wiser and you realize that nothing actually not a lot of things matter yeah but families still matter Families, yeah, always, families always matter. Love yeah. always matters. Yes. What is love? Well, baby, baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me no more. No. <laughs> <laughs> so when I say the word hello, which song do you think of now? Oh, uh, now, because I think of two songs. Yeah? I think about the hello from the group called Bread. Yeah? And then I think of the Adele one, of course. Hello from the other side. Yes, thank you. Th- thank you for that. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. I, I, I was not expecting that. It's because you've had the hit of of um, protein. Great. So, one drug to another. Just everything seems to affect me so much. Yes, it's because that you've you haven't had any sort of interaction with those sort of substances before. So, like, like I'm saying, substance is like it's an illegal drug. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Um, one, one time my lesson teacher said, if I end up getting high on an illegal drug, he'll just basically evacuate the country. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I can see why. <laughs> it, it, what, what, if, it, if it's your crystallized drugs. Yeah. Yeah, I would leave the country too. <laughs> Trust me, I would. What do you think I would do? I don't know, and I don't want to see. <laughs> you might go on a murder spree. Well, I wouldn't go that far, but um, it'll be bad. It'll be bad enough for you to want to leave the country. Yeah, <laughs> or, or, or or go to Queenstown. I might be in Queenstown though. Yeah, but well, well, uh, it's okay if you're in Queenstown. Then I'll stay here. You mean you get as far as far away from me as possible if I end up taking something crystallized? Yes. Okay. We could, because I want to be um, further than the blast radius. <laughs> Talking about illegal drugs and um, their unfortunate uh, what's effects? Yes. Yeah. Sports, sports, and drugs. That's always been an interesting thing. Oh God. Okay. 
Okay, um, sports and drugs is, is quite funny. Yeah. Um, because, like, we're talking about her... Perform- mm. b- performance enhancing drugs. Yeah. A- and then you're talking about um, um, DA approved and not approved. Yeah. So, like, I've had instances where they've taken drugs that are legal. Yeah. But you wouldn't think they'd be part, in the, part you know, using it for sporting. What do you mean? Like using recreational drugs, yeah, on a sporting context. <laughs> That's weird. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I've I've seen it done. Yeah, um, I have, I've actually partaken in using it using gym supplements while getting drunk. What was that like? I was pretty much amped for the entire night. It was great. Oh wow. <laughs> Gym supplements and alcohol, or there'll be um, a potent concussion. So, like you know, you know, you you because you, you like you like know, use pre workouts. Yeah. To, um, one because you can have the caffeine hit. Yeah. But the, but then you also increase your nitrogen balance. So in in your terms, in your terms, the best way I could say it is essentially a blood thinner. Oh. Because what happens when you have a when you sticking a nitrogen rich supplement into your bloodstream, it actually carries everything faster. Oh really? Yes. So it's like nitro in the in the car. Yes. Yeah. Essentially, and you you know you have um, you talk about your beta alanines and a few other things that increase nitrogen production. Are yeah. they are they allowed in the Olympics? Say. Um. Now. In the Olympic context, I yeah. don't think so, um, but I know that um, m- most of the stuff that is um, that is sold in New Zealand. Yeah. It is um, dope agency approved. Right, so you can take, say, your protein powders over to um, the Olympics. Yes. But you're implying that there's protein powders you can't take. But, well, I, I, wouldn't, I, I wouldn't call it protein powders. Yeah? I would call it supplements. Yeah? Um, l- 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 like, take, for instance, if you take your... If you take zinc and magnesium, for example... Yeah? That is a more natural way to increase... Testosterone production. Right. Right? But if you are taking... Um, actual testosterone. Actual testosterone in a synthetic form... Yeah. Then you have the... the, the now, that's illegal. Yes. And there is effects... Like, it, it'll have effects on your reproductive system. Because you're, you are putting in testosterone... So it'll stop the production of natural, naturally occurring testosterone. So your balls get smaller. Exactly. How about the more important member? Does that get smaller too? No. Okay. What if it did? Will people stop taking testosterone? Now, and this and this goes back to what happened with Trump over this week. Oh God! What did he do? Well, the whole transgender um, are not allowed to be in the army. Uh. And one of the things that came out was it was all about $4.8 million of funding. Yeah. And yet, five times that is used to prescribe the male people in the military with Viagra. So, wait... $20 Twenty million dollars are spent giving soldiers Viagra. Twenty-four million. Twenty-four dollars. Twenty-four million. A, what? Yeah. 20, Why? Twenty-four million dollars given to soldiers for Viagra. Yes. Why? <laughs> because, um, but bust, busting a nut. Yeah. Improves morale. And they presumably wants more soldiers in the making, so they can make more soldiers. No, no, no. no you, well, well, you're trying to be 
you're trying to protect um, children. Yeah. But you still want morale to be high. What do you mean protect your children? Well, 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 they'll have condoms, of course. Yeah. But you still want people to have sex, right? Yeah. And if you can't get it up, you've got to use Viagra, don't you? Yeah. So, wait a minute. They think Viagra is more important than medical care. Transgendered medical care, yes. The, they really do have their... They really do have their priorities screwed up, don't they? Well, 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 well welcome. Well, welcome to America. Welcome. Yeah. We're the blue... Well, no, that, who invented the blue pill, the, the Viagra? Glass, Glass, Smith, Clyde? Um, Pfeiffer? Pfeiffer. Yeah, they've, Pfeiffer. They've been making a pretty penny. Yeah, 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 they've been making a pretty penny. Yeah. Um, I know that the patents run out. Oh, so we have generic Viagra, so. Yeah, well, there is already generic Viagra. Generic. Generic. Wow. Yeah, there already is. <laughs> oh, man. So what are they doing now that the patent ran out? Are they going to like, make another Viagra? No, well, because, like, 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 take for instance, if you really want the actual Viagra, th- then you'll be paying through the nose for it. Yeah. But if, but if you want to get on the cheap, yeah. then you'll just have to buy the generic one. Generic Viagra. Yeah, generic Viagra. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Well, 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 just the sex and drugs, but not the rock and roll. Mm. More, more like Imagine Dragons. Why is that? Thunder. <laughs> I, I, I finally realised what ad... What ad... It was a sort of like a minor reference to that song. It was an AA insurance ad. Really? With a donkey. No, with a horse. Yeah? That on the side, it actually has... If you put in the offer code THUNDER, you get a discount. Really? Yeah. On a hot side of horse? So they, so they want... They want, um, what was it called? Indirect association. Oh, man. Does that make sense? Yeah. <laughs> so it's like marketing. Yeah. That's funny. <laughs> it's a good marketing ploy. Mm. You're trying to have an indirect association. I've seen this ad once from uh, Durex. For those who use our competitors' products, happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. Yeah. <laughs> Um, unlike unlike most other people, Mike is not a father. No, I'm not, and I'm kind of glad. Yeah, otherwise I have to be paying child support. <laughs> you took my joke away from me. <laughs> oh man! Besides, you're already supporting us kids. You're already supporting two. Why do you need to support any more? Um, we're talking about my niece and nephew here that I'm trying to. Nibblings. Yeah, the nibl the nibblings. The nib the nibblings. Yes. Uh, so anyway, back to the original topic. Um, how come the Olympics are so obsessed with say like no drugs? Unfortunately, yeah. you can't. You can't. Why is that? Because there are always going to be an option. No, no. Why do they want no drugs? Because they because they want they they want to have the association that anyone can be an Olympian. Oh, like fairness and yes. Okay, I get it. Yeah. But no matter what... There's, was, always, there's always going to be drugs. There's always going to be drugs. Okay, let's do a flip side. What if, if we had an Olympics with drugs, like you can have any drug you want, sure, yes, the rich countries are going to win more medals, probably more unfairly because they've got more money, but you also have the added benefits of increased pharmaceutical spending. Yes, and increased um, fatalities. <laughs> Why is that? Because, you know, if you're taking that many substances, you're more than likely going to die earlier. Dumb ways to die. So many dumb ways to die. Yes. Drug overdoses like the stars, the pop singers. So, like, for instance, that um, there, sh- there should be always be two types of it. Yeah. Like, like for the Olympics, you can have the Colossal Olympics, <laughs> yeah. and then you can have the fair ones. <laughs> yeah. With the course of Olympics, you can actually have some interesting things, effects, for example. With increased um, pharmaceutical spending, you can actually develop new sorts of drugs that can actually help performance with, say, uh, less abled people. So, for example, if they can develop a drug for increased blood supply, maybe it can help someone who's anemic. Yeah. Yeah. 
It's a bit like going to space, right? I've heard that with every dollar we spend on space, we get about, like, what, three dollars back? Yeah. Yeah. Which is great. I know, right? And we get three dollars back through, like, increased industry, increased innovation, and increased motivation, I suppose, to do the sciences. Yes. Yeah. And that's, like, that's so cool. Why don't we spend more money on NASA? Oh, yeah, because people are short-sighted. Right. Yes. Who, you know, the American government's more, more willing to spend on money on Viagra than, say, medical care. Yes. Yeah. Mind you, considering um, the size of Trump's hands and the size of Trump's feet, I'm not surprised. Yeah. Yeah. That's a very obscure reference. Yes, yeah, very obscure, <laughs> but, but we'll give you it. Yeah, you know, you know what I'm talking about, right? Yes. <laughs> Well, if you don't, please keep your mind innocent and pure, and pure as opposed to mine. Yes. Yeah. Yes, Sophie. Keep it pure. Keep it pure. Like um, New Zealand water and beer. And all landscapes. Yeah. Landscapes, keep it pure. <laughs> <laughs> so what makes a good landscape, Sophie? Well, I don't know. I thought you'd be able to answer that yourself. But it's honestly, it's like lots of, oh, yes, I've seen a TED talk about this once. Basically, in any, any generic landscape, you see a, see a land that is perfect for living. So you have a wide body of water, preferably fresh water. So maybe you have bits of the sea so you can go fishing and maybe some a, a fresh water um, river, flowing river. Yes. You have flat plains, you have lots of grass, you have lots of animals to hunt, you have some trees to hide in, and you have a bright, clear blue sky. Okay. That's apparently like, that, like the perfect, that's the perfect generic landscape because that's subconsciously where we want to live. Okay. But I prefer pictures of mountains, you know, like the Southern Alps, the majestic Southern Alps up in the, down the South Island. Yes. Or, you know, things like that, you know. I don't know why, but I think I prefer the cold and the snow, myself. You prefer the cold rather than the snow? I prefer the cold and the snow. Okay. I'm not too sure why. Well, I prefer the cold. Yeah. Most definitely, I, 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 I want the cold. Well, have you, have you ever heard the question of where, of where you want to go on holiday? Like, the, you either want to go to the beach or the forest or the mountains? N- now, now that, that sort of semi... Um, holiday slash retirement yeah that's that, they always have that question in the personality test and that's supposed to determine your whether you're introverted or extroverted yes um i'm not telling you the answer yeah you social up yourself yes so make your decision whether you want to go to the beach or the forest slash the mountains and then afterwards search up which bit which one makes you more extroverted and which one makes you more introverted yes and look into the previous podcast where we talked about retirement which one I don't know, but we talked about it. Yeah, like, where do we want to retire? Yeah. Where did you want to retire again? In, in obscurity. Yeah. Mike wants to be forgotten. Well, yeah, not so much now, but back then, yeah. Back then, you want to be forgotten. Now, where do you want to retire if you don't want to be forgotten? Right next to the hospital. <laughs> really? <laughs> that sounds good, actually. That's a very good plan. Or yeah. in a hospital. No, not in hospital. Well, you can have, like, hospital-level care in some rest homes. Yeah, but, like, like I want to have the convenience of living in my own place. Yeah. But close enough to the hospital. That, that That's why you see very... A, a large amount of old people going into, like, rest homes or elderly care facilities. Yeah, like Elizabeth Knox. Yeah, because there are nurses there that are trained. Yeah. That, that's what they want. So, you want to live right next to Auckland Hospital. So, a good place where you could... But, but, you said your favourite hospital. What's your favourite hospital, then? Well, well, well we, we, we talked about this but, uh, during our lunch break. Yeah. Waikato, wasn't it? Yeah, I didn't like Waikato Hospital, so I can... So, like, if it was next to the lake, it would be great. Yeah. Um, Like, yeah. Yeah, right next to the lake, if it's um the Hamilton Lake, which yeah. is okay... Um, if it's Rota Brewer, um, the hospital's right beside the lake as well. Oh, cool. So you want to live right beside the lake in the, hosp- in the hospital? In the, no. You want to see a lake and you want to see a hospital? Or in, any sort of water. Water, okay. Why water? What's about you and water? Because, because we were talking about landscapes. No, yeah. So you want some water. Yeah, I want some water. Okay. 
So, like, you, because, hey, like, I live a K away from the water, essentially. Cool. So which boat did your ancestors come in from? Wow. By the way, here's, a, <laughs> wow. here's, here's something very interesting. The Māori myths, they never said that the Māori were created in New Zealand. They, they, they always say that the Māori came in through ships. So this means that even the Māori, who are the indigenous people of New Zealand, they have their immigrant story as well. That means that everyone in New Zealand is an immigrant. Yes. Yeah. So I always, I always found that interesting, and that's, and that's what I'd like to talk to Winston Peters about one day. Like he said that he doesn't like immigrants, but honestly though, his whole family's an immigrant. Even the Māori's, even the Māori consider, consider themselves immigrants. Otherwise, you won't have your whole oh, my ancestors came on this boat story. Yes. Yeah. So my waka. Yeah, your waka. Yeah, that's the term for it. My waka is. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, so call te waka. Yeah. Which is quite hilarious because um, the Aotea Wakas pretty much all went down the the east the, the western side yeah. of New Zealand. Right. So like when I was in my hometown, yeah, it, it is still yeah Aotea Te Waka. Yeah. And so I find it hilarious. Why is that? Because it was the same lot of Waka. Same lot. Same lot. No, because like like I consider uh, the whole waka yeah. thing is not just one boat. No, it'll be a series of boats following each other. Of course. Yes, which makes logical sense, right? Well, you need, you don't need to have watched Moana to actually see why. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, Moana's a great film. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like one boat just ended up in Hokianga. Yeah. Whereas I'm from, and another boat ended up in. Tanaki. That means that this has been a lot of incest. Of course he was. Yeah. Of course he was. Like, like even going back two generations, more likely there was incest. There has to be, otherwise you can't keep the blood pure. That means that every single body is a Targaryen. Well, essentially, yeah. <laughs> because, oh my god. Because, because you have to think about it, that you have to increase the population no matter what. So that means that Māori are A, immigrants, like everyone else in New Zealand, and B, Tigerians. Yes. <laughs> well, if you, if you go far back enough, yeah. like, everyone is a Tigerian. Yeah, everyone's related to each other. Um, yeah, the human population is shockingly inbred. I mean, I've heard that there's actually... You know how chimps live in family groups, right? Yes. There's more genetic diversity between a family group of 12 and a chimp, for chimps, than there are for the whole population of, the, of humans in the world. Yes. And it's like, so chips can get away with incest, but we can't. Because there are, now, because there is, yeah. um, a whole, uh, because we are social creatures and there is no wars going around. Yeah. So we can be as socially diverse as possible. Yeah. And no incest. And so no incest. Yeah. That's an unexpected benefit of, the, of tolerance, you know, and inclusiveness. No incest. Yes. There's just diversity. Yes. God, I, I think we should stop here, Mike. I okay. need to get going. Um, you need to... I've got to be in class in 10 minutes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you can stop it there. Yeah. Uh, this... Please contact us on um, as the underside podcast at gmail.com or AOIU podcast on Twitter, Tumblr, and Facebook. Mike, you are on. Oh, I'm the Manus, T-H-E-M-A-R-N-U-S on all pl- platforms. Uh, apart from Game of Thrones wikis now because you're now the Tigerian. Yeah, I am the Tigerian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you can contact Sophie on Sophie two seven oh nine. One nine seven oh nine. Damn it. Yeah. And I am not a Tigerian, so you won't find me if you type that in. But um you might find the Russian Sophie if you type in my username because she's on Instagram. And yes. she she is my username. Yes, and have a good week, guys. You too, don't inbreed <laughs> Don't inbreed? That's your sign off? But means no, and don't screw your sister. <laughs>